guys hey my loves thank you so much for clicking on this video kindly make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't subscribed already it helps grow this channel okay so today i want to talk about about the dead situations that we go through in life or rather i'm talking to someone who is going through a situation where you're like this is actually dead you've hit the wall you know what i'm saying so those are the situations i want to talk to today i got that from the dead situation of lazarus the death of lazarus in john chapter 11 and verses 4 particularly was highlighted to me and it says this illness will not lead to death no it is for god's glory so that god's son may be glorified through it it's like jesus was waiting for lazarus to die so that he will be glorified you know the news of lazarus actually spread so much in so many people who are believing in jesus because of the death of lazarus what we see as dead is not dead to god hallelujah amen like that is a word right there like things that we see are dead to us are not dead to god yet like it's still in the process of god making a story out of it so that it will glorify jesus at the end of the day so that it will glorify god so that many will believe in god because of that particular situation so i'm gonna give some examples if there are so many reasons of praising god most of us always just say i praise god for life those are my friends most of us always just say we praise god for life and you have no other reason of actually praising god but we actually find a lot of reasons for praising god in psalms chapter 30 it's all about reasons for praising god and the first verse is what stood out for me and spoke to my dead situation i will exalt you lord for you lifted me out of the depths some version says out of the pits now pits is like death like god has saved you from death probably from your enemies or so many other things now and you're speaking about the dead situations in your life let's say for example you are struggling with certain sins in your life maybe you struggle with a uh, trauma that you went through in childhood and you're like ah god i don't think i will ever heal from this uh pain i don't think i'll ever heal from this trauma like it's so dead i'm really suffering in this situation imagine god has preserved you in that situation god preserving you in that dead situation is actually god saving you from the pit because how many people do we hear commit suicide because they no longer have hope but you God has been your hope, even though you feel like that situation is dead. You still have hope, even in the pain of your trauma. Some people can't handle it and they commit suicide. God has preserved you from the pit of death. Let's say another example is maybe you struggle with masturbation, pornography, sexual stuff, and you're like, God, I really want this thorn away from my life, like Paul. <laughs> I want this thorn away from my life. I hate this guilt feeling or shame feeling afterwards or something. Imagine even in that dead situation that you think is dead god has actually preserved you from the pit of death in that situation in the in the sense that let's say for example god has preserved you you've never gotten deadly diseases god just preserved you in some way please i'm not preaching for you to continue in your struggle i'm speaking a word over your struggle that god has preserved you even in those moments when maybe you cry afterwards and god comes and just embraces you because he loves you regardless of how sinful you are we are all sinners remember so god has preserved you from that maybe you came from poverty growing up and you're like i'm really done with this poverty thing god like i just want to be rich you know what i'm saying <laughs> like just send money from heaven god has preserved you even in those moments of poverty why he has saved you from the pit many people die because of hunger we see that in the news all the time. People die because of hunger. People kill each other because of small food chaos and just drama of poverty. God has preserved you in that moment of poverty because he has always shown up for you. He has provided for you. He's been your jiren. He's been your father. You know, God has protected you even in that uh, poverty moments. Maybe you ate food that was poisonous somewhere, but it never harmed you. Psalms 91. Oh, I love that. Holy Spirit, thank you. Uh, that you will even eat poisonous food and they will not harm us. God has preserved you even in that dead situation. So I'm speaking to someone who feels like you've struggled with a certain sin or a certain something. And it's been too much or it's it, the, the lord is just too heavy on you that is the person i'm talking to today i just want you to remember or to remind you that even in that dead as it looks dead to you it's not dead to god because god is working your deliverance out maybe you have struggled with pornography masturbation and you're like god i really want this thing out but god is gonna use that for you to deliver other people who will have gone through the same thing and you can't preach what you haven't gone through so god is taking you through that season where it feels like it's dead but he's actually preserving you in it for the sake of other 
generations, millions and thousands of other people who will hear your story and they will know that you can actually get out of masturbation, pornography, fornication, uh, whatever, anything. Addict to the bottle, it can be addicted to drugs. I know, guys, sometimes you just go through life and you're like, God, I really want this thing out of me. Every time you're stressed, you just think of smoking, you just think of alcohol. No matter your desire, how big your desire is for you to let go of the bottle, you still find yourself to the bottle. It is all for the glory of God, a story that God is preparing for you, with you, to use you as a vessel for many other people. You'll deliver many other people. So I hope I've encouraged someone who has been feeling guilty or ashamed of a certain sin that you really struggle with and just know that we are not righteous by our own works but we rely on the righteousness of christ okay and just go through the motions of it a story to tell at the end it is a testimony that will save somebody else so everything that we go through it's not for us it is for somebody else it's for saving another soul out there that you'll think Maybe they feel alone through the trauma you've gone through. Maybe it's sexual assault, whatever trauma, child, you know it. Rejection and stuff. One day you'll tell that story and it will uplift someone else. So take heart. You are not alone. And God is preserving you even in that dead situation. And it's not dead just because you see it as dead. You know, it's not dead to God. He's still working out the story. Like, the way the Bible says, is it in Philippians, that whatever work, the good works that God has begun in us, he will see it to completion. So he's not going to let this um, deliverance story part of yours, this deliverance story end in the middle. No, he's going to see you through it to the end and you will testify and save us all one day. So yeah, I hope that was encouraging enough for someone who is going through a like struggle, you know, like a scene that it's all, it's just, you're just like, God, I'm done. I just want to die. You know, just take it away from me. But it's not because it's for somebody else at the end. So thank you so much for watching this video. It's going to be a testimony to someone. Yeah. And just go through the motions of the pain in God's hand. You know, he's going to comfort you. Jesus is our comforter. Yeah. Don't do it away from God's presence because it's going to be harder. But with Christ, things just become smooth. I don't know. Not really smooth. Smooth is not the word, but it becomes easier. Ah, Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to leave you guys with that verse. That my yoke is easy and my burden is lighter. So doesn't mean there is no burden doesn't mean it won't be a yoke that sana. it will feel like that but it will be lighter because you're with christ okay bye guys